G'day everyone and welcome to episode 53 where today we relocate Poison Ivy into our own little area that I think works well within the park that we're trying to rebuild. So apologies by the way for my voice as I'm a little bit sick at the moment. I've been free 3D printing a lot so it's um, yeah it's all stuck in my throat and stuff so that's, that's what I've been dealing with but we continue with this build with obviously the facade of the building was kind of hard to recreate with the scale and everything like um, what I wanted to do but I, I think I found a nice balance in between what we've been doing and where the park's about to go so this area probably has maybe less than five or six episodes left in it I think um, the next episode is obviously Mr. Freeze's area and then the uh, Harley Quinn and Joker area sorry I had a mind blank then of where, where I was going with it so th this part of the park as as we've established in the last videos is me pretty much going off of tangent now to where if if I was to go safe real life if you were to go in and um, relocate this area to fit more better with the scenery and more better with how things are located in this part instead of it just being I know it's it's very interactable and how it is and stuff like that, but I still think that this was a, a, a cheaper option for them. So I always wanted to do something to um, sort of sort of flush it out a little bit better. So this part here, I initially wanted it just to be a shop front that you look in front of, as obviously you can't access the front door. But then I realised that no, no, like people would actually walk through the front door. So I I deleted that, and then I I had this weird idea to create sort of as if a helicopter had crashed through the roof and that poison ivy brought the helicopter down i i initially had a huge branch coming out the roof and holding onto a helicopter in the midair but i just i couldn't get the sizing right for um the area and stuff like that like I, doomsday's designed to be huge in this area and i just didn't want anything that was gonna take away from that and sadly the helicopter itself was um it, it was huge up in the air like that but it, it was pretty cool to um to show off maybe i'll put that in another video showing um what my initial plan for this area was but i think i found a nice balance of linking the bank building in to the park as if like the tail was hanging out the roof and like still spinning so it's that interactive element and then you could actually look inside the window and see that um the helicopter had crashed and poison ivy was setting up a little bit of a lair so this window up here is obviously a fake window and it's designed to look that way it was really hard trying to find this sort of building style that fitted well inside of the park like i, I did this part initially off camera and then i remember that i had to click record so i deleted everything and then started again and yeah it was it was one of them amazing moments where you start creating and things just like slip into place where you just get lost creating and um this was one of the nights because i work night shifts i come home and um i start working on these at maybe i think it's like three or four a.m in the morning and it was one of them ones where i just kept going and i heard birds chirping outside and i haven't had one of them gaming moments in a long time of where you play till the sun comes up and you're like is that what time is it so that's what I really enjoy about this game is that I can still have their moments I don't know if you've seen on the workshop lately but the Doomsday Destroyer is currently um, on the front page I don't know whether that's just because of my preferences and stuff like that but the amount of people that are downloaded it is insane so just remember that when you do go on it just to leave a like and um, leave a comment because it really does help other people see that um, you you really like the ride well that's if you like like if you don't like the ride comment that you don't like it either so this part here i wanted to link all of these buildings together so i just did all of this as a basic sizing i was going to initially build it out here but i realized pretty quickly that um it was hard to see through the window but then also not um be able to interact with it and stuff so working out the so this part was tricky where i had to get the helicopter to be hidden inside that building and not to be visible from the inside of the building so you had to have it on a proper angle to look like it actually crashed in through the building 
but then still being able to hide it um, was, was pretty difficult to, to work out how to do. Also, it was hard to work out, as you'll see in a second, of trying to get the helicopter to sit in the building properly because it was very hard to see through. Like, I initially had two layers of glass on that front door to make it so frosted that you'd have to, like, get up and probably put your hand on the window to look in, and that's where you would see poison ivy sitting there. But um, I deleted one of them because it was very hard to see the, the helicopter itself. I, I really wanted it to be like pretty straightforward so that's what had happened in that building but um yeah i initially wanted the the spotlight itself to shine out of the window but i realized that in order to achieve what i wanted to so you'll see him here with the rubble and all this sort of stuff i really wanted it to be look like he had not only crashed through the roof but there was another level of the city up above there so you'll see me put all buildings and like like I know we have the flat building pieces that look like fr shop fronts and that that we've used on the other other path but um it looks like a street up there so it's it's pretty cool how it looks like the helicopters come through the road this building was underneath it and um yeah so this part here this is just the tiles of obviously the floor nothing crazy I initially was going to dig down and do something a bit crazy but then when I came back in and um reinterpreted that it was just easy to do it simpler like, there was no point going crazy with this part and having like too many wild pieces but um I, I believe in the end I found a nice balance so I'm trying to avoid showing you too much inside here as um, I don't really have anything to give you guys for episode 60 this time there's not really going to be any rides or anything like that that we're creating at least not yet so um I thought that for episode 60 we'd do pretty much a proper walk around where like maybe we did a live stream or something like that where we walk around and you guys can tell me what you want to see and what, what you want to happen and stuff like that and then it, it'll give me a chance to like maybe talk to you guys if you are interested in um, like talking to me in that way. So that's obviously down the stream a bit, obviously we've got a little bit to go but hopefully we'll be pretty far into um, the Wild West area, if not we'll be finishing up this area, so it's it's been hard to think of parts like this, but I'm glad you are enjoying it, so make sure you leave a like, but most importantly, have a great day guys, I'll see you in the next one, thanks.